Hi, I'm going to share with you how I use acrylic paint and a variety of painting techniques to create texture on paper. Once the papers are dried, you can use them to create a paper collage painting. And this is video number one in a two-part series called How to Create a Paper Collage Cityscape. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Maureen White, and I love to share my tips and tricks with folks. And hopefully you'll get a little inspiration along the way. So let's get started. Now I'm going to start off using the um, oil pastels. You can see the colors that I have and I do take the paper off of them. They're just, it's just a lot easier anyway. So I'm going to hold all of these together in my hand and begin just making all kinds of random marks with the oil pastels and any direction, any kind of movement uh, that you want to make. You could also take you know, take the paper off and use the side of the oil pastel as well as the tip. And now I, I'm almost finished. I just want to make sure I get enough on there. All right. All right. Now that's pretty fast. And the, like I said, the oil pastels are soft. Now I'm going to take, um, I have some water over here. Uh, I'm going to take some of this magenta and I'm going to water it down. It was in a tube like this. Okay, it's just the Liquitex Basic. They're a little thicker, but I water it down. When applying this, I like to uh, start off with the paint being fairly thin, and I do make it thin with the water. And then I can build up as I see what's happening. Uh, but with the water, the more water you have, then the more that oil pastel will resist. In other words, um, the paint won't stick to it and you can see the um, oil pastel through the paint. Uh, I really like the pink here. It helps to uh, brighten it up. It's kind of intense and it goes really well with the magenta. And I always try to make a variety of marks on my painting. You'll see just to get all kinds of differences of uh, color tones. Oh yeah, I'm struggling with my gloves. <laughs> so I can put water on top of that and then, um, you know, you can even use your fingers to make marks in that paint as well. Uh, but you can see I've created a lot of different intensities. Now I'm going to try to get some splattering going on with the, um, with the lime green. Uh, the, the toothbrush. You know, it will splatter, but the little splatters are very small and uh, they're sometimes hard to see. And for sake of the video, I think I'll just use my uh, paintbrush and instead of, you know, flickering it with the toothbrush, I'm going to get a lot of water on my paintbrush and then just uh, tap on it like that. Okay, so that my splattering dots are a lot bigger and will show up better on that magenta. I think that's a, I really like the look of the lime green. Now in this next paper, I'm gonna be working with black and white. And it's really important to remember when you're doing these swatches of color, that it, there is no right or wrong, and it doesn't need to look like anything. It is not gonna be looking like anything except for black and white marks. Anyway, I always find that I can lose myself in this kind of painting. So um, with the white and the black, I'm going to do a lot of um, mixing of the two uh, together to make some grays as well. And you'll, know, you'll just find that as you work with every layer, and then if you keep putting more layers on it, it keeps changing. And you know, the possibilities really are endless. And it's really fun to kind of discover what the paint will do, you know? And uh, so I hope you just really enjoy it. I always do. 
kind of reminds, reminds me of when I was in elementary school or kindergarten and the joy a child has when they're painting is just so, it's mesmerizing, right? Anyway, so I just hope you do enjoy it and... Now we're on to paper number three. I hope you're getting ready. Here we go. Okay, now I'm thinking about, oh, I know I'm going to use a little white paint and splatter it all over the red, which will really, you know, make it pop a little bit. This is the really fun part. And then I'm going to use that sponge and go over the red again with a little more orange. I think that would, on that one side, it needs a little more. You know, I find that as I go on with these, the more papers that I make, the more ideas I get of what to do. Now I'm going to choose my um, cool colors, aqua, uh, lime green, and a blue. And in this one, I'm just going to paint with a paintbrush and add a little bit of white to all the colors. Because I've used the um, oil pastel method, the splattering, and the um, uh, sponge technique quite a bit in the others. going to take the end of my uh, paintbrush and just do some squiggly pattern lines in the blue. And this is the orange pastel. And I'll paint on top of that. Looks like I, it looks like I got a little too much paint on there. I'll have to think about how to treat that next. Oh, a little bubble wrap always helps. Now I'm getting ready to uh, put a little of the dark blue on this paper. I decided to do these four small pieces on one paper just to save on paper and I know that the um, paper collage that I'm going to make with these, I won't need all those papers. Anyway, I was just trying to conserve. There's another, uh, more scribbling, more scribbling like a lot of scribbles. And of course, one last splatter before, before the video ends. I think that these uh, basic techniques that I showed you in this video are, are pretty easy no matter what stage of creativity you're in and that they're simple and easy enough to do that they would make a, a good start to a paper collage painting. 
which stay tuned for the next video on how to create a paper collage cityscape. See you there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you got some good content out of it, please press the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date on all my videos, subscribe to my channel where you'll always find a few tips and tricks and hopefully a whole lot of inspiration.